This is a tutorial for Dex Science at 6.3. Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to build another electrical circuit. This time, we are going to see how to connect components in series and how to convert electrical energy into other forms of energy. We are going to be using components from the compartment B6.4.2.2. Great. So, these are the components we are going to use to build a simple electrical circuit. So we have a battery holder here. We have the positive side with the red wire and the negative side with the black wire. So we're going to get our double A dry cell and we're going to place that in there. Note that the dry cell does not come with a sign set. We are going to now put inside this circuit our other electronic component. So we have a light emitting diode here, that's LED. So we're going to put that into the circuit. Do not forget that because a light emitting diode, it has a positive end and a negative end. Using the arrow, you can determine which part is negative and which part is positive. Okay? So this part of the arrow, the back of the arrow, is the part that connects to the positive side of the battery and then the front connects to the negative side okay and so we're going to turn it this way so that we can connect the positive side of the battery which is the red wire to our led okay and whenever we use an led we need to also use a resistor which will lower the amount of current flowing through our circuits to prevent our led from blowing up. We're also going to take some wire. So we're going to need some extra male wires to be able to connect these components together. In this compartment, there are only female wires in there. But in the other compartment that we use in the 6.3 set to build our conductor detector, there were several male wires in there. So we're going to bring some of that to this activity. So now that we have enough male wires, we can continue with the connections in our circuit. We are going to connect our LED to the resistor. And then, we created our own electronic component in a previous 6.3 video. Let's go and bring that component into the circuit as well. So we have our switch here. Let's make sure everything is nice and tight. Then we can connect the switch to the resistor and then finally to make this final connection we can either connect the battery directly but I'll prefer we go for one of a female to female wire to connect these two male wires together we've completed our circuit we have the LED connected to our battery the positive side of the battery is connected to the positive side of the LED. And we can tell which one is the positive side of the LED by looking at the circuit symbol on the LED and seeing the direction the arrow is pointing in. The negative side of the LED is connected to the negative side of our battery through the resistor and the switch. This connection, as we know, is called the forward bias connection. Okay? So we have our circuit complete. Let's go ahead and then close our switch and see what happens. Close my switch. We closed our switch, but nothing is happening. Why is that? This is because our LED requires more voltage than one dry cell can produce. This dry cell produces 1.5 volts, but our LED needs at least 2.5 volts in order to function. So how do we get that for our circuit to work the way we want? We can do this by connecting two dry cells in the connection known as a series connection. 
when you connect the two dry cells in a series connection their voltages add up and so if you bring another 1.5 volt dry cell here their voltages are going to add up and we're going to get three volts so let's bring in another dry cell so we have another dry cell here okay so i'm going to disconnect this side and then i'll bring this dry cell in here okay and when you're connecting two dry cells in series you connect the positive end of one to the negative end of the other so let's go ahead and make that connection okay so now i've connected my two dry cells in series okay and so now the voltages are adding up let me open my switch and i'll close it after i'm done completing the circuit now i have two females here so i can get rid of this one and i can connect this directly so now our circuit is complete one more time let's go ahead and close our switch and see what happens there you go our led is now on because we've increased the voltage that is going to the led by connecting two dry cells in series we connect the positive end of one to the negative end of the other one other interesting thing we can learn here is how energy is transformed from one form to the other we have chemical energy in these dry cells this chemical energy it's turned into electrical energy which flows through the wires and then this led turns that electrical energy into light energy are there other forms of energy that we can get let's find out in our previous 6.3 activity we had a different component called a buzzer so we're going to introduce this buzzer into our circuit and see if we can convert from electrical energy into another form of energy so let's take our led out let's connect the buzzer and do not forget the buzzer has a positive end and you can tell by the plus sign on the buzzer i'm going to go ahead and connect open my switch connect the buzzer and close my switch there you have it electrical energy converted to sound energy so we have chemical to electrical and then to sound let me open my switch great now let's see if we can apply what we just learned connecting two components in series let's add the led back into the circuit by connecting it in series with the buzzer what does this mean it means we need to connect the negative side of the buzzer to the positive side of the led we're going to need some male to male wires to do this connection so we connect So let's go ahead and enclose our switch to see what happens. Interesting, we do not have any sound. There's just a little bit of light. Why is this the case? There are a lot of components connected in series in this circuit. And so they are drawing more current than our two dry cells can provide. What do you think we can do? Should we increase the number of dry cells or should we take some components out? Let's try taking some components out to see if we get anything different. So I'm going to take out the resistor here. Take this wire out. Open my switch and then connect my LED directly. Okay. So we have our dry cells connected in series and our buzzer and LED also connected in series. Let's go ahead and close our switch to see if anything. 
there you have it and so we have in this same circuit chemical energy being transformed to electrical energy to sound energy and also in the same circuit to light energy note that the energy does not move from sound to light it is still electrical energy flowing through but when it gets to this point it's converted to sound and electrical energy continues and then when it gets here it's converted to light and we've connected our two components in series and let's not forget we created our own switch we created our own electronic components so just like that these components here we also created our own electronic components by applying the concept of conductors and non-conductors this has been an exciting journey all the way from 4.1 through to 5 through to 6.3 we've learned so many amazing things we've applied simple scientific concepts to create fantastic technology useful things this simple application of the scientific concept of conductors and non-conductors marks the end of our series of videos where we explored how to use the DEX science set. Throughout this journey, we've learned several amazing things. We've covered concepts under physics, chemistry, biology, and even astronomy. We've built our own racing track to help us understand the effects of friction. We've generated our own electricity using food. We have learned how to build our own thermometer. We have learned how to build a human respiratory system. All of these interesting activities covering the entire set from 6.3 all the way to 4.1. We built a model of the sun and compared it to the size of the earth. We even formed clouds in a bottle. It has been an interesting journey and we hope that all of these activities will inspire you to pursue science even more. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with us and we hope to see you again sometime soon.